Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Actors Area. I'm your host, Sean Robert Grant, a.k.a. Reverend Sean Robert Grant. Excited to have you here with me. Man, have we been busy. Uh, it has been a lot going on from an actor standpoint for me, and that's always amazing. I hope success has found you also um, in the same token. And so uh, first and foremost, as always, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for your downloads. Um, having listeners from all over the world is really, really quite amazing. Uh, thank you for sharing. You've been great with um, with sharing this podcast with, with different actors and actresses and performers. And I'm just thrilled and grateful more so than anything else that you guys are really just really diving into the material and really um, beginning to be in this space of, you know, taking what you need from it and, and, and using it to the very best of your ability. And that's really all that you can do. And uh, so you guys have been great. So before we get into our episode today, which is an all, uh, just an a la la, <laughs> a fantastic one, I want to go over some business first. Guys, if you have any questions, any comments, any feedback, any type of information you want correspondence on, please write to us at S H A U N G zero four at gmail.com. And we will get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Thank you in advance. Um, yeah. With that being said, that is all the business we have for now. Um, let's get into today's episode. I guess it's been a bit. So my brain is going faster than what my mouth can follow. So bear with me, uh, today's episode. And this is, you know, I say they're all my favorite, but this is my favorite because it's always the next one that's my favorite. But this is especially near and dear to my heart because it's something that I've been going through myself over the last few years. And when I tell you this is one of the most significant, imminent, important things, right? I was very redundant on purpose there, but this is just this is up there. And the reason why it's up there is because. You cannot succeed without this. And if you look at that title again, it talks about believing in yourself, having unlimited self worth as an actor or actress and performer. Same, same, right? So the reason why, you know, and if, if, if you're unfamiliar with this podcast, we definitely go deeper into the spiritual here because it, it's all interchangeable. It's all relatable. What happens on the inside of you is going to always happen on the outside and, um, and vice versa. And so to understand that relationship, um, from the law of correspondence, we have to know that if we are to succeed, it's going to start internally first. And so I love that because if there's anything that's not really shaping up, to be something that is conducive to where we want to be in our careers, in our lives, we can go on the internal and the mental, the emotional, the spiritual realm and make the shifts, make the changes that will then um, lead to the transformation that allows us to be in a position where we want to be. So as I was saying, it starts with believing in yourself, right? And the reality is, if you believe in yourself, other people will believe in you too, period. Okay. If you believe in yourself, other people will believe in you too. And that is the reality of it. And there's nothing that anybody can do to stop that. When you look at some of the most successful people in any field today, you know, acting included, you, you're watching a person that be believes in themselves on the highest level, which then allows others to believe in them too. And so we often are under the impression that the reason why this person believes in themselves so much is because of all the work that they've done in their classes and all the studying and all of the physical stuff that comes into that, but it goes so much deeper, right? It goes so much deeper than that. And, and, and I want to give you an example as to how this can work for you. Okay. So, um, early on in my career, I had a lot, a lot of 
success on a number of big films. And the fact of the matter is I didn't really have the schooling or the training to put enough confidence in. So a lot of times I was just nervous as hell on these productions, trying to figure out my way and trying to understand how to be the very best professional actor that I could, but I just didn't have the resume. I didn't have the training. I didn't have the schooling to put confidence in. Now here's why this is such a good, such a great thing actually, because if I put my faith in belief in something physical, when that thing goes away, all of a sudden my confidence, my belief, my faith goes away with it. Right. And then all of a sudden what tends to happen is my worth is completely set in something outside of me, which is the dangerous part. In a sense, I say dangerous because in an instant, your self-belief, your, your confidence, your self-worth can be wiped out, right? But if we take that and we base it off of what's inside of us, and what I mean by that is, and this is a spiritual concept, and stay with me, and this is for everybody, no matter where you are in religion, whether you're atheist or not, if you animate it into this life as a human being, right, as a spiritual being having a human experience, you are worthy. You are worthy. It is one of the most dynamic divine privileges to come to this life as a human being and live. And if you made it that far, right? If you were born into this world, you are worthy and you got to know that. And, 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 and it's not something that you need to understand, but I can guarantee you if you just receive it, what will happen is, and this is from experience, that self-worth will just continue to build within you. And, 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 and you know how you, how you can continue to build it every day you wake up, you say, you know what? Life gave me another shot to live and be my best. That must mean that I'm worth it and I'm going to make the most of it. And you just build on that every day, every day, Every day, life gave me another chance. I am worth it. Life gave me another chance. I am worth it. I'm going to make the most of this. I'm going to make the best of this. I'm going to be the strongest. I'm going to have the most faith in myself and nothing will stop that, right? That type of self-belief, self-worth and self-confidence, that does not go anywhere because it comes from the internal spiritual side of you. It is not based off of anything on the outside, right? Nobody, nobody outside of you is giving you life, right? Nobody has that power. The God essence, the divine essence of the universe in you has the power to give you life and allow you to animate into this life and play and have fun and be great and realize your potential in the highest expression and the highest good of all that right there should ignite you to be on fire to continue to build that belief, but more importantly, build that worth. Cause once you build the worth, once you can build that self worth, the belief becomes easy, right? It just does. And I really want to, I just, I just want to take some time to focus on this cause I want you to think about this for me. Okay. I really want you to think about this. And the reason I want you to think about it, is because if you hear it enough and you begin to understand it, you're going to instantly, trust me on this, you're going to instantly start getting confidence, right? It's nighttime here where I'm at in the States, but it, let's say it's morning time. You're listening to this on replay or, you know, you're, you're around the world away from where I am and it's, it's, you're there, right? And all of a sudden you can be like, man, life gave me a chance today. That shows me that I am infinitely worthy, right? No matter what time it is, it could be morning, it could be afternoon, it could be night, but just say that to yourself. Life gave me another chance. That must mean I am infinitely worthy, right? And this just not only goes for acting, this goes for 
everything, every aspect of your life. You got another chance. Go be great. Go use it. Right. Because the truth of the matter is we have no idea when we're not going to get that next chance. And I can guarantee you so many people wake up taking that chance for granted only to watch their life end before they get an opportunity to be grateful for it. So don't fall into that, that position. Now, when this happens, when you understand what it is that I just told you, acting, the side of acting becomes easy, right? It becomes easy. Why? Well, take you back to when I was, I was, you know, acting in these humongous films that I felt like were bigger than me. The thing that helped me through was that worth, that self-worth and that self-belief, right? Wasn't on the highest level like it is now, but it was there. And I was like, you know what? Life wants me to be great. And these people agree with it. And I'm in this film. So let me go be great. Let me just be confident. And I tell you, they threw every single bit of adversity at me that you can imagine. I'm talking about changing the script literally five minutes before we're about to do a shot. Like, and I, and it's not even like a small amount of dialogue. I'm talking about like two, three paragraphs of dialogue, changed it up, you know, fighting with them to try to get a, uh, an increase in pay for doing a stunt that I wasn't supposed to do. There was so much going on in this film, but I just kept building my self belief and it built itself on that worth. Right. And so I have to emphasize, I have to emphasize, do not put your worth do not put yourself love. Do not put yourself belief in things. Okay. Do not put it in things. Cause once again, when you lose those things, you're going to lose your self worth. You're going to lose your self love. You're going to lose your self confidence and self belief. It just, it's going to go with it. And I, and I'm repeating that, but I, it, it, it's something that I, I just, I know I have to be redundant about because the mistake is made so often and I've made it so many different times. And I just all of a sudden get on a high horse because of something good that happened. And then all of a sudden that high horse goes away. And then I, I found myself being in a complete mess. Right. But, but, but when I decided, okay, I'm betting on me, I'm having faith in me. I'm having faith in life and the divine power that's giving me the chance to come here and be a successful actor and performer. When I, when I put my faith in that and I put my worth in that, guess what? I could go a long period of time without having any type of role whatsoever and still be excited, still be confident, still be believing in myself without any doubt, still understanding that my word, I am worthy of the very best opportunities in the world as an actor and performer, no matter what is going on on the outside of me. And I tell you, this will help you to sustain for years. It's helped me for decades because I'm going to be real with you. There's been times where stuff just dried up and it didn't come for literally six, seven, eight months. I think one year I didn't actually, I actually didn't work at all. 2009 did not work one bit at all, right? I think I had maybe one job that entire year yet because I was building this worth and this confidence within myself, it didn't matter. Yes, it was frustrating. Yes, it was challenging at times, but right after I feel those emotions and it's important to do that, I got back to myself. I got back to says, you know what? Life keeps bringing me back. Let's rock and roll. Let's make some magic. Let's make some, some, some music here. Let's, let's be dynamic. Let's be strong. And so I started writing articles. I started doing podcasts. I started, you know, writing for publications and all these amazing things. Because life was saying, okay, you may not be acting, but you got skills to do other stuff. Believe in yourself, right? Contact backstage, contact business insider, contact New York castings to, 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 to share your wisdom with them and all their readers. And then boom, what happens? 
They respond. Why? Because I believed in myself because I knew what I had to say was worthy, but it wasn't rooted in anything outside of me. It was rooted in myself and the ability to know that I was worth it. And I'm here to tell you, you are worth it. You are worth it in every single sense of the word. Do not think otherwise. Right. And begin to see that in yourself. Begin to see that in yourself. If you want to succeed, in acting or anything else in life, you got to believe in yourself. Whatever you do and whatever you do well has to start with belief, has to start with that faith, has to start with you knowing you are worthy, but more importantly, that the magic inside of you is worthy. Because when you know that, man, you can't be stopped. You become unstoppable right at that moment. You see, we battle with so much on the outside, but the outside is what the, the Aztecs used to call Maya. It's an illusion. It's not real. You know what an illusion is? An illusion is something that's not real appearing to be real until we learn the truth behind what an illusion is. Most people don't know what an illusion is, but an illusion is something appearing to be real that's not really real. It's only a symbol, right? It's a symbol of the truth, of what's really and truly real, right? So when you're going through struggle and you see struggle manifesting out here in the material world, that's an illusion, Right. That's an illusion for the truth. What for the truth that you are mentally, emotionally and spiritually. In disharmony, out of alignment. So all you got to do is realign yourself mentally, emotionally and spiritually. And all of a sudden, the illusion of struggle and hardship and adversity goes away to turn into harmony. Right. To turn into success, to turn into you progressing and realizing your potential and the highest expression of who you are. That's the magic. That is the magic behind it all. It is within you. It is within you. It is within you and believe in it now. Right. There is no way you could ever be unworthy unless you choose to be right. You're not showing up alive every single day to be unworthy to lack belief in yourself, to lack faith in yourself, to not go out there and be in the very best films that you choose and desire to be. And if they don't choose you, guess what? That's their loss. But guess what? Your confidence, your belief, your self-worth is not rooted on whether or not they pick you. It's rooted on who you are within. It's rooted on your essence. It's rooted on God desiring and wanting to express itself as you authentically, sincerely, and genuinely in every sense of the word in this material world. When you know that everything else, you know what it does? It starts to get a little hell, a lot smaller. It starts to lose its significance. And when that loses its significance, the real significance is placed upon what really matters. And that is internally what's inside you. That is internally what makes you the very best that you can be. And that is your divine essence. That is the spirit within you. That is the, the, all that is the creator building, creating, you know, expressing itself as you for that purpose of you following your heart, following your heart's desire in highest unfoldment, which in this case is being an actor and performer, right? Or an actress. That's what matters, right? And so when I began to really understand this, this shifted my, my career in, in, in a way that just, I mean, it was like some alchemy taking place, right? It's like some alchemy taking place. I think one year I booked like 35 different gigs, like, like rapid fire. And I mean, there, there've been years where I hadn't had that many, but there's just been really amazing opportunities to work and grow with people in the industry. 
And it just, it got better and better and better because I believed in myself more and more and more. And I knew what I was worthy of. And I knew this inherently. And so that's the thing. We got to get it to where it is inherent, right? Because life works as a mirror concept, right? We only see from other people and other things in the material world what is truly resonant as our energy on the inside. So now that you know this information, you got to get it down into your deeper mind, the deeper recesses of your subconscious mind. And then once you do that, then you'll begin to see it reflecting. Then you'll begin to see it showing up in different ways, in different capacities. And it's just like, wow, okay, this is what this comes down to. This is what this is all about, right? If I get it on the inside, I can just let it unfold on the outside. And I'm telling you, if you want to write me and you have me give you examples, I have so much proof of this, that it works, that when you, once you get it on, on the inside, it's a done deal. And if you're having trouble, fret not take, take, you know, don't be discouraged under any circumstances. You just need a couple of internal tweaks and those tweaks are going to shift everything. But the first thing it's going to do is going to shift your belief in yourself. It's going to shift your worth, your, your perception of your self worth. And when you can do those, sky's not even the limit. You go further than that. And it's going to, it's just, it's going to take you to new levels in your career as an actor and performer. So as we wrap up, I just want to remind you, you know, we spend so much time, doing things to try and better ourselves. But the one thing that we have to spend more time on is building that, that, that self-worth, building that self-belief, building that self-love, that self-confidence. As much as you work on scripts, as much as you go out and audition, you need to spend just as much time on building those elements within yourself because it's going to create all the difference. And you know what happens? It even transcends talent. It even transcends connections. It even transcends anything in the material world that would seem to get in the way of it. A high sense of self-worth, self-belief, self-love, and self-confidence will transcend all of that. This is why it needs to be first because it's going to reflect to the outside. Okay. And it's just, like I said, it's just going to be pure magic. All right. So I'm out of time. Once again, this was a fantastic episode. Thank you guys so much for being here with me and also for sharing it in advance, downloading all across the world. If you know someone who is an actor, an actress or performer, or just like listening to uplifting information, please share this podcast with them. Um, that'll be absolutely terrific. If you guys have any questions about anything, uh, write to us once again at S H A U N G zero four gmail.com. And we will get back to you as soon as we possibly can. It's been another wonderful episode. I'm happy to have this time with you and, uh, I'll be sure to see you soon locked, ready and loaded to release some of the wisdom and insight that I have best of luck and wishes to you this week as you go out into your auditions and your set life and all these amazing things if you ever have any questions once again don't hesitate to contact me you guys are wonderful we will talk soon thanks so much sean robert grant aka reverend sean robert grant signing off the actors area take care bye-bye <laughs>